It's probably the coldest morning we've had here for a long time. I bumped the ISO up to 800 and taken the ap aperture to f7.1. But I kind of feel like I'm clutching at straws. So good morning everyone, we're still kind of in the holiday season at the moment, still things going on here, we've got Three Kings Day coming up soon, which is a big event here in Spain, bigger than Christmas. What we've also had is pretty much clear blue skies for about the last four days, and if you watch my videos you know that I'm not a big fan of clear blue skies, but this morning I just had to come out, uh, we've still got clear blue skies. There's a little bit of cloud kind of out there. Pretty much right where we don't want it on the horizon where the sun's going to be coming up. So I've come out to a beach that uh, I haven't been to for about two years, maybe even longer. Um, and there was kind of a semi fallen tree on this beach that I thought might make for an interesting subject with clear blue skies. But uh, the penalty of not being here for so long is unfortunately the tree is now no longer semi fallen it's completely fallen so I don't think that's going to work but I have just uh, seen this little cluster of palm trees that they've uh, got here where are we here um, and I think there might be a shot there so especially as we've got the moon which you probably can't see but there's a moon crescent moon up there so I'm going to try and get a shot of that Oh, and you may have noticed, it's probably the coldest morning we've had here for a long time. The woolly hat's on and the gloves are on. Oh, it's quite chilly. I mean, it's not freezing, but it's chilly. Okay, so I've set up, just basically clustering the palm trees in the middle of the scene. Lots of blue sky up above. It's got the crescent moon just off on one side. Okay, because we've got a bit of breeze, which is moving the tops of the palm trees around. I bumped the ISO up to 800 and taken the ap aperture to f7.1. That's giving me a 40th of a second. Palm trees are going to be in silhouette, which is what I want. Just with some, hopefully, some quite nice tones behind. It's not going to be a masterpiece, but it's something a bit different. Okay, I don't think this morning's gonna work out too well. I have set up for another shot, just kind of playing around with something. Out here is Peacock Island, or Benidorm Island. And I've set up a shot using the 70 to 200 lens, all the way out of 200 mil. And there's a bit of sort of quite nice toning around the island. So I've taken a shot focused on the island and then what I've done is I've focused in on the foreground which is actually just going to be waves breaking and I'm just going to try and capture a couple of waves in the scene that might make for a, an interesting image but I kind of feel like I'm clutching at straws.
Okay, so that's going to be a focus stacking exercise if it works. Uh, I fired off a shot of the island, which had some quite nice um, sort of orangey tones behind it, and then I shot several shots of waves breaking in the foreground. So the first shot was focused on the island, and the later shots were focused on the foreground. So I'll focus stack whichever of the wave shots looks best with the island shot, if it works at all. But to be honest, this morning I don't think has been a particularly good morning for me. Um, I may have got one or two images that are kind of okay, but nothing great. But you can't have great images every time you go out, it just doesn't work that way. And I wasn't expecting great things from this morning because the conditions just weren't right. But I have enjoyed being out here and just watching the sun come up. It was, a, you know, not a spectacular sunrise because of the lack of clouds, but it's always great to see the sun come up over the horizon and just put light on the scene. So that's it. I think I'm going to pack up, go home, get some breakfast, get some coffee, and call this a video. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget about the subscribe button, unless you're already a subscriber. In which case, thank you very much. In fact, a big thank you to all of my subscribers. Likes and shares really help promote the channel. So, hit the like or the share button, that'd be much appreciated. And as always, I'd love to hear from you, so comments down below, please. So, from a slightly chilly beach here in uh, Spain, thank you very much for watching, and until the next video, bye.